Hit me with the button on that one, too. Congratulations. You played yourself. Because I guarantee you, if I was going through what DJ Envy was going through right now, they would be flaming me on The Breakfast Club. Oh, my God, yes. What? What? You would be barbecued. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah. Feel but, day. Yeah, but in all fairness, it wouldn't be Envy doing it. Right. He would just sit there and listen and not say anything. Right. It'd be your man. It, it, well, yeah, it would be Charlamagne. Envy <laughs> wouldn't, Envy would Charlamagne. do it. He, I mean, he wouldn't well, lead it. And the reason I'm hitting myself with the button is because I haven't wanted to cover it, even though it's the hottest conversation in the city. I can't go anywhere and without somebody asking me my opinion on what's going on. And I don't really, I don't know Envy to be a bad guy. I don't yeah. know Envy to be the guy that's trying to harm people. Right. I don't know right. that person, right. so I can't right. get up here and act like. I believe that he intended this to go as left as it went. Right. I can hit DJ Envy with the button for getting involved with somebody like Caesar, though. Congratulations, you played yourself. And and from the and from the looks of it, there's other people that Envy went to and asked them to get involved, and they told shout to Joe Button, who was like, "Yo, this sounds like a Ponzi scheme, bro. I'm good." Congratulations, wow. you played yourself. That was years ago. So I get envy with the button for that, but I also, I also, um, I also just don't want to. I don't want to do the pile on, man. And I hope that these people who lost their money get their money back. That's the piece. Well, and you also hope that he, you also hope that he didn't know. Yes, for sure. You know, and, and I, I think our assumption, because he never envy was never a bad guy, was that he didn't know. But then when you look at it, you're like, but how could you not? It's a, it's a lot there. It's hard. People have been asking me about it too. I'm like, I don't. I've never known him to be a bad guy. So, but then I'm like, boy, how long was he involved in it and didn't have any idea? Well, and I also too, if you if, if DJ Envy owes you money or Caesar owes you money, don't ask to come on our show. We not doing that, bro. Right, right, right. 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 I'm not doing that. We don't. We not covering that. But it is the hottest conversation in the city right now. I can't hold you, <laughs> Laura. Am I lying? It's no. all, yo, it's, yo, literally, it's either DJ Envy or Israel in Palestine. What do y'all, we don't have nothing to talk about. And then here come Griff telling me that Taylor Swift kissed Travis Kelsey on the cheek. Yo, hit Griff with the button. <laughs> I already told you. I don't believe they're actually stepping unless I see some swap and spit. That's it. Otherwise, I mean, it's still a work. I mean, in all fairness, though, I mean, you've never seen some of your favorite couples of all time swap spit. Yeah, but they got kids, though, so I know they did some. Yeah, but so you didn't believe it until the kids <laughs> came out? And then you're like, all right, all right, they got kids. This is still mad early, though, so we don't know yet. Well, no, but you know what it is? It's, it feels promoted. That's all. That's why yeah. I'm skeptical. I'm well, only yeah. skeptical because it feels promoted. Well, no, no. I, I full-on thought it was completely fake. I'm now starting to believe, with the amount of games she's still going to, I'm starting to believe they're at least... Listen, it may be fake, but it's long-term fake. Like, they're like, oh, we're going to do this for a long time together. Like, we're going to have to deal with this up to the Super Bowl. And, and by the way, hit Taylor with the button because you having to hang out with um, Patrick Mahomes' wife every week, that's a button. Congratulations. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. And, Why? And, what's wrong with her? What's wrong with her? And, Patrick, and Patrick Mahomes' brother. Congratulations. Wait, what's wrong you with him? yourself. Uh, listen, I, I, I don't... I, I, you need me to give you your whole life story? Here you go. This is like Ozempic again. You've never known that Brittany Mahomes is annoying? She's I've a never, known... I never, I've never I heard know. that. I didn't uh, know well, She's a bad guy? Well, Laura, this is your Ozempic then, too. Didn't say bad guy. But <laughs> uh, Brittany Mahomes is known to be annoying. And so... And Jackson Mahomes, his brother? Oh, my God. Congratulations. You but annoying in what way? Like, I mean, explain to us. Griff says the brother is a bad guy. Well, the brother is a bad guy, but kind of like in how willing he, he is to be annoying and be out there being annoying. You know what and I mean? By like annoying, such... do you mean like, give me some, you know, annoying is, could be douchebag. Annoying could be yes. like a YouTuber doing pranks. Yes. The, Riff uh, says he's been accused of a sexual assault. Oh. Yes, he, he, he has one of those too. But listen, I'm okay. not, that, that came out at some point too. There was an accusation, but it was like. Man, just Google most annoying moments. It's they're there. It's all there for you. Like the the whole handshake she's doing with Taylor Swift now. The Taylor Swift, Brittany Mahomes, like oh oh ah uh, ah. Uh. There, that's her. She. That's just a tiny little. 
so now, so so it sounds so it sounds also like because uh, Patrick is a is a continually winning, they're often doing things to just antagonize and annoy people because he's winning and they're winning. It sounds like that too, right? A little bit. I mean that that's it. That's in there. But yeah, I mean they're, they're just. Listen, I'm not saying Go- she's goofy a cel- goofy celebrations from people who are cornballs who also win can be annoying. Let's be yeah, clear. Yeah, listen, listen, I didn't come out and say she's a horrible person. I just said she seems mad annoying. And and people generally have already found her annoying. And now Taylor's in there being her best friend. I'm just saying in the long run, I'll tell you, I see there's uh, there's some congrats to go around here. Well, listen, I didn't I, I don't know that she's annoying or or anything much about Patrick Mahomes. Uh personally, o- only thing I had a reference point for them was that they had one of those flannel shirt jeans photos, and I didn't like them from them. <laughs> you know those couples or family photos where everybody has the same matching flannel shirt and the same like light tone jeans on? I can't. Oh I my can't, god! I hate it. Yeah, I, I can't stand it. <laughs> if you have one of those, odds are I'm gonna judge you and not like you. <laughs> oh god! Oh, I can't. I can't take it. I'm gonna Funny. send you some clips. I'll I'll find something for you right now. <laughs> you want you want me to dislike this woman bad? Don't it's, no no. I don't care if you do. It's not, I don't I don't care if you. I know you will. I don't even. Care. I, I don't. I I don't have. You know what I mean? There are people listening and be like, oh y'all haven't seen? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I can't believe Ebro ain't up on it. I can't believe you didn't know. Yeah. Yo, there's this there's this clip that's out there that's so funny. Of they did some. Um, uh, game showy thing online, and, and they're talking to Patrick and his wife, and they're like, "What is Patrick's uh, favorite cheat meal?" And she's like, "Oh my god, that is steak!" And he's like, "It's it's Mexican." And she's like, "Oh, it's just like there's just like it, it, it's just there's something there." It's, you played yourself. Patrick oh, got yeah. locked in really early. He got locked in before he was the greatest, like, of all time. Now he's he got stuck. locked in. Now he's stuck. <laughs> he's stuck. Oh, man. Laura, what you got on your list today? So, um, LLJ, cool, cool J. Uh, a guy named Joseph D. Emerson. That's his name, all right? He's an off-duty pilot. Well, he was just arrested and charged with 83 counts of attempted murder. Well, he was Why? He was trying to shut off the plane's engine mid-flight. Come on, what? man. Why, yo, man, why are people playing with people's lives, man? Bro. Yo, like that really you, tightens me up, man. If you want to go, Do that on your own time. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. playing with my time. So this guy hopped on a, air, uh, on a flight from Seattle to San Francisco. He sat in the jump seat, and it's a seat typically occupied by pilots and airline staff members when the flight is oversold. So these seats most times are found in the flight deck area of the plane or where the pilot sits. While in the seat, he tried to shut off the engine of the plane. Fortunately, the pilot and the first officer were able to stop him on time. So they had to do an emergency um, landing in Portland, bruh, where he was, like, arrested. Bruh, but good. Are you, like, what? If you're over your life. We'll handle it on your own. Wait, Don't wait, bring everybody the- else with you. But the but the level of congrats. I mean, but first of all, I think he wanted to kill everyone. I mean, isn't that safe to assume? Like, he, Hello? This isn't, yeah, this isn't an accident. He, he wanted to kill everyone. That's why he's getting charged with eighty three counts of attempted murder. Oh Yo, you know the little seat that's right there on the door. The what they call the jump seat. Yeah. Yo, he sat in that seat according to the article and waited for an opportunity to try to jump in there and cut off the engines and all that. Wow. Yo, what a yeah, piece 83. of garbage. He, he got an attempted murder charge for everybody on the flight. Good. Good, as he should. Good. Rosenberg, what you got on your list today? Man, I'm done. I gave you enough on uh, Brittany Mahomes. That was actually mine anyway. So That was all you got? Yeah, it was going to be Taylor Swift yeah. for deciding that her new bestie is her new bestie because you might look new. Oh, God. Well, I, I'm going to close out then with uh, this name right here that everybody should know. The name Grace Rosa Baez. Mm. Grace 37 year old, 37 years old, a uh, member of the NYPD since 2012, has been now charged with three counts of distributing fentanyl and heroin on the NYPD. What? Wow. Grace Rosa Baez uh, also gets a conspiracy on that charge and. Cesar Mart- Martinez, 43-year-old man who shared an apartment with Baez, is facing identical charges. That's right. 
Not a great time for Caesars oh out here. God. Yo, see, yo, see. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> someone, <laughs> someone, check on the dog guy. Yo, so she's a pol- she's a cop, and she has her her boyfriend is a drug dealer, and they're over here in it. Oh my God, bro! On October 11th, prosecutors accused Baez of telling the informant that Baez could sell two kilos of fentanyl, thirty thousand dollars each. She later handed over the plastic candy container with a substance inside. The investigators determined was heroin. Uh, Edward Caban, the new police commissioner, says this is, quote, extremely troubling and there is no place for corruption in the NYPD. Well, let's hit uh, Grace Rosa Baez with the button. Your boyfriend or roommate, Cesar Martinez, yourself. gets the button. And the quote, you played yourself. And the quote, there is no room for corruption within the NYPD. <laughs> I mean, are you sure? Hey, yo. There may, not, there may not be room in the future. Right. But there's plenty of space in the past. <laughs> and for that comment, they get the... Congratulations. My you lord. <laughs>